Hello everyone, and welcome to Hermitcraft episode 5. Starting the episode off with some shaders because, well, because they're beautiful. They just make me happy. Look at this base. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all been worth it. Uh, all the starter base glory, the stables, the path, the trees, the starter house. I love it. Look at that sunset. We can't stay in shaders all day though, so let's turn these off and get started with the episode. Today's episode will start with a little visit over towards my neighbor, Stress. Stress is online right now, and I just know that she would love a spore blossom and some drip leaf. So I told her that I would give her some for completely free, because she's my neighbor and all, and I just think that she'll really do something epic with it. So we're heading over there now to her base to give her some. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Hey, Stress! Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this place is awesome since the last time I've been here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. I tell you, I dug that thing out there without a beacon. Oh my it gosh. <laughs> it is you. epic. Thank Very you cool. So much. Very cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Stress. I, I have yes. I have things, right? I have very cool, pretty things that I think that you oh. would love for your base, right? I have some of these to oh experiment God. with. And then a oh bunch God, of those. These are amazing. How did you get these? I got them from a wandering trader and then you can just craft the flowers with some allium and it's it's perfect. And, and you have oh allium my. already, right? <laughs> So yeah, it'll be great. I, I, I've been on a mission to get alliums already to a flower forest. <laughs> ah, perfect, perfect. <laughs> oh my god, Jim, that's amazing. Yeah. That is so cute. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm sure you're going to do some epic stuff with it. I can't wait to see those particles around here. <laughs> They're going to be so oh cool. Oh my god. Well, I've just built a. Um, I was going to say a house, but it's not a house. A shop. Over oh here. yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I saw I'm it gonna... on my way along. Yeah, this is my new thing, and oh my god, these are going to look so cute. On the side of it, I may Ooh, have already. Um, yes, I, it's so foresty. <laughs> I love it. I, I only just learned how to make the uh, roots. To be honest, on the bottom of the uh, dirt. <laughs> They're perfect. They're perfect. Put... <gasps> yes. Oh, oh my yes. god, they go everywhere. Yeah, it's so cool. What an oh, atmosphere. I can, <laughs> I can see myself overusing this. <laughs> to walk into stresses place is gonna be snowing spores all the time i can't oh, wait wow. very oh. epic very epic Jim, you're amazing you're amazing thank you so much for that <laughs> of course of oh, course oh nice all right i'll get back to my base now and let you continue your building <laughs> bye right, thanks Jim. see ya <laughs> you know i've been spending a lot of time these last few days looking at my base it's a great base, a wonderful base even. But at the moment, to be honest with you, it's just sort of a pretty base. And it is pretty. It does pretty very, very well. There's a lot of atmosphere in this base. However, it's a little useless. Now, when I say useless, I mean that in the nicest way possible. But like the uh, the trees, they don't really do much for me. And, and the greenhouse is really just an aesthetic and, and, and the gardens aren't actually for farming. And my starter house is very startery. So I think we ought to spend an episode sort of making some progress in this world. What do you think, Jolene? The latest farm addition that I have added is this drip leaf farm. It works very simply. You just take, whoop. <laughs> you just take one of these, turn it on, and then you stand here and click that. And yep, it just, it does that. Yep. Okay, we get the point. These farms down here are great, but I want to make a base. So there's a few extra ones that I want to start us off with making today. The first farm I think I ought to make is a new and improved cactus farm. So let's get to work. Of course, more farms calls for an expansion of the farming area. I think I ought to branch this out even wider down here. So it's like a hallway right here with all my plants and then eventually expands out. Could be like a portion of my base as a whole. I can spend time down here. That'd be cool. So the plan is that I'll just set up a tiny little cactus farm. It really doesn't have to be very much. Just something to create some green dye for personal use, not to sell or anything. Because it's directly under my base, it should be activated like all the time when I'm here. So it should produce more than enough, I think. Cactus farm complete. Now on to a very simple sugarcane design by Tango Tech. This is how all the professional technical Minecraft players do it, right? Don't mind me. Just, just doing redstone stuff. 
Yep. Professional redstoner here. Super professional. Don't worry about me. Turning this little farm over here from something aesthetic to something that is hopefully very beneficial. <laughs> okay, I think... I think it works. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. But it definitely works. <laughs> I love redstone. I don't understand it. I, there's not a thought going on in my brain that understands any of this, but it's great. It's fun. Having a great time. Right. Progress update. This area is going super well. It's very functional. I've got these furnaces set up now. All of these different farms. We've got some glowberries that I can bone meal, some roots, some glow lichen. We got drip leaf. We got nether wart. We got sugar cane going. We got cactus going, which has been going great. And finally, melons and pumpkins which is also going absolutely fantastic. So these are just little tiny personal farms that I can use. And I like that I have them set up now because it means while I'm building up above, these will all be running, which is great. Hello, B. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gosh, the greenhouse is... <laughs> it's very lively. It's very lively in here. All right, Jolene, you're doing great. So I've had a lot of talk so far this episode about tiny farms for me to personally profit from. But what about the real profit? Early on in my Hermitcraft adventure, I obtained a very rare block, which is now not rare because I've pretty much distributed it everywhere. Drip leaf, right? This drip leaf parkour. This was so much fun and so many hermits came down here to attempt this parkour. And I also profited off the laziness of some hermits not really wanting to parkour. This laziness is what I would like to continue to profit off of. So we're gonna set up some farms so that I can mass produce drip leaf, spore blossoms, small drip leaf, and anything else related to drip leaf. I think, I think that's it. So we need alliums. We need a lot of alliums, actually. And in order to have those, we need a flower forest. There's a lot of flower forests around here, actually, because we live on a continent and flower forests spawn as a biome in an island quite often. Okay, I think I have everything that I need. So the only thing to do now is wander about the world and find a flower forest. Now I know some have already been claimed. Joe and Cleo, for example, live in one and Stress also has claimed an island off the coast. So I will purposefully go out and look for a completely different island, don't worry. I am of course no wings club. I'm currently on day 58. So we are just going to boat this. Who knows, maybe I'll find something cool along the coast. Hello, polar bear. <laughs> Very cute. There's axolotls. Is that a baby one? Oh my gosh. Hello, child. You're so cute. Not gonna lie, so far this is very unflower forest like. I think I'm gonna try to go out a little past the ice because we're getting some little islands like this, which are a lot more promising. But that one's Savannah, so close, but not quite. Here's a little island. I think it's just a plains biome, though. Yeah. Definitely gonna pass on this one. This is a very promising flower forest island. I like it, I like it a lot, ah, oh, yes. Okay, there are so many of these alliums. We need to get a spot where the flower map for this area, as far as I understand it, is mostly alliums. Oh, look how gorgeous it is. Oh, I'm taking some of these for my base. Oh, hello, bee. Sorry to disturb you, bee. So this island over here looks like it's definitely claimed by somebody. But this island here seems relatively untouched. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn this into a farm for myself. First things first though, gotta get rid of some of these pesky trees. Sorry trees, you're, you're beautiful. You're not pesky, but uh, you are in the way, so yeah. Okay, so this area right here, when I bone meal it, I get alliums, right? Mostly, I get a couple poppies, but like alliums. So that means that this spot is where I want to build my flower farm, mostly. All right, and as you can see already, the more I bone meal, the more of these alliums are popping up, which means we've got a great map here for the flowers. We've got a couple of others mixed in, but this is a lot of allium to be spawning. So I am really pleased with this. This is gonna be a great flower farm, I think. Yeah, okay, I think that's enough testing. I haven't completely filled it in, but this is great. This will give me more than enough allium, I can already tell. So I'm gonna follow a tutorial by Logical Geek Boy. I'll link it down below. Let's get to building the redstone. I did it. I'm so proud of myself because I like never, I never do redstone, but 
Logical's tutorial was so good and so easy to follow, and this works. It works, and I'm getting so many allium. I only took a little bit of bone meal, but I'll put in what I have. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. It's so loud, but look at this. When I took it off, right? The water sweeps everything cleanly into the hoppers. We pick it up here, and we have so much allium. Arguably more allium than I'm ever going to need, but I'm going to use up what bone meal I have and then head back to my base. This has been such a success. I feel like a proper redstone genius, even though I came up with absolutely none of this. Still, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Logical. There are so few thoughts in that cute little head. You're so cute, but I don't think you're thinking about anything. <laughs> Genuinely, what is that? <laughs> Don't you guys have something to do? All right, all right, anyways, anyways, back to work. Oh, Jillian gave me a wheat. That's so nice of her. I am collecting up a bunch of my bones. I'm gonna go ahead now and sort of sit at this machine a little while. See if I can't get myself a bunch of drip leaf, right? Cause I have all of these alliums, which I got in such a short amount of time. It is time now. All I'm gonna do is just sit here, and do this. Shouldn't take very long, probably like five minutes and I'll have a few stacks. All right, mission sort of accomplished. This will get us started with the project at the very least. Now let's work on the build for the shop. Now you may be thinking, I have melons, right? These are gonna be so useful for trading with villagers. And you'd be incorrect. They're building blocks. They're fantastic building blocks. I mean, look at this. You ready? Look at these colors. So we have some plain colors and some textured colors. I mean, isn't it just perfect? It's perfect. This is gonna be the color palette for my new shop. So this cactus farm is allowing me to get access to lots and lots of green dye, or at least enough for my personal use anyway. So I'm gonna smelt a bunch more of that just in case I run out of green terracotta. Excuse me, who are you? Why are you here? I don't remember inviting a llama along. Oh! Whoa, this is a shop. Pearl? Pearl, what the heck? Great, okay. Um, you poor little llama. Do you wanna go hang out with my horses? You can hang out with my horses. It's nap time though, hold on. Right, and now we just row the llama. Oh, all right, okay. Okay, this is worse. This, it somehow got worse. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Um, yeah, don't mind me, llama. You can't stay in the pond. It seems cruel. And I have a stables over here, and Moose would love some company. I just know it. Okay, no, no, no. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. No, no, no. This way. This way. There you go. You look so much happier here. It's perfect. It's perfect. Right. Thank you for the free llama, Pearl. As you can see, I have cleared this area down in the shopping area of my base because, well, this shop, this shop sucks. <laughs> Nobody has ever shopped here. No, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. It's not that useful. I get it. But I need to make money. I need money. So I'm gonna make a new shop. And the new shop is gonna give everybody access to drip leaf, spore blossoms, and small drip leaf. And I'm gonna build it over here. Anyways, if I wanna make any money this episode, I better get to work. So it's time lapse time. Mission accomplished, sort of. <laughs> I ran out of magenta wool, as you can see. Actually, I decided that I wanted it to be magenta like halfway through the project and I have no magenta sheep. So it's underway, but I think it's going well. So obviously we have three barrels here. They're gonna sell different items. So drip leaf, small drip leaf, and spore blossoms will be in them. Maybe we'll get some sort of shopkeeper sitting in a boat or something in here to be cute. I don't know exactly what, but this area in general now needs a lot of love. Cause let's be honest, if I wanna attract people to come shop at my base, I need to have this be nice and advertised and look like a very welcoming area. And at the minute, it doesn't. It doesn't look welcoming at all. So I think we extend the dock along here, trim back the forest a little bit, add some custom trees, add some flowers, make it pretty. And that shall be a lovely, lovely project. So I'm gonna get to work on that now. What is going on? Hello? The audacity, honestly. <laughs> I've never seen. What? That was a murder. 
Who are you spitting at? That was your friend. My gosh, what a way to get a free lead. That was genuinely not even started by me. I was buying heads. Look at this. All these cool heads, I thought they'd make great little mushrooms, so I bought some of the colored ones. Um, and I also bought my own. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have head decorations. So that's really cool. Could look nice in the shop, right? Yeah? Huh? I think so. I think so. My shopping area is really starting to come together. This whole area is gonna look beautiful once it's filled with more of my shops. But for now, I have my spore blossoms, my drip leaf, and my small drip leaf. And I just need to label everything with prices. Hello, Pearl. Hello. You've come to buy a spore blossom, right? Huh? No. No. Huh? No. No. No, no. No spore blossom, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was getting my hopes up, you know, because new shop and all, right? Because you seem, uh, you seem right. like a promising yeah. customer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Did you hit all your customers? <laughs> no, it was a handshake. It was, it was a handshake. Uh, all right, all right. Okay, I see. I mean, a spore blossom would be cool, but I'm kind of looking for some, some leather today. That'd be okay. okay. All right. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. There you go. <laughs> oh, Here's your you product, just man. Out of your mouth. There you oh, go. Thank you. There we go. Some diamonds, because um, you said two, right? Oh, I don't pick up one of those, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Our first profits thank in this you. shop, and it's leather. It's not even selling. Yeah. It, that's, maybe that's you should okay. sell leather. Maybe I should sell leather. You know, you've maybe got me rethinking my entire business strategy here, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> so, someone who is uh, basically plants. Uh, plants everywhere and seems very nature and not killing anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, it might be a real yeah. problem. Right, well, you take this spore blossom as well. <gasps> a bonus spore blossom. Please remember, <gasps> my, keep keep us in mind here, okay? If you okay. ever need more, you know where to all come. Right, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll keep in mind. Maybe I'll come back and I'll buy some more. Just, just. just that would be you would be my first customer if you did. First, okay. This doesn't count. Well, uh, well, it was leather. So no, no, it doesn't count. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll have to come back some other time and, and, and buy some sports. I'll definitely do that. Right, okay. Thank you, Pearl. Okay. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. 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 But at least the shop's kind of a success. Not in the way that I intended, though. These diamonds have given me a wonderful idea, though. We need to research things. We need to find out why my shops haven't been successful this far. So I'm going to take some money and some spore blossoms, and I'm going to go around and see everybody else's shops. Maybe I'll get something useful, or maybe I'll just gain some knowledge about the market. Either way, it's good. Moose believes in us. I just know it. My first destination is Tango Tech's candle shop. Come on, Moose. Okay, so, Tango's copper and candles shop. This sells copper and also assorted candles. One diamond for 32? Whoa. I would actually love some green ones and I'll take some pink ones as well. I assume I'm allowed to do that since there was only 16 green ones. Cool. All right, this is a really neat shop. Everything is laid out really nicely. It's really clear to get to. I don't actually need any copper, but this is really cool. Come on, Moose. I swear this mountain wasn't here last time I was here. Next up. Bodum. The trail along here is so beautiful. It makes me so happy. Oh, I have a fox. I have a fox. Oh no. Pearl! I have, Pearl likes foxes. Oh no. I don't like the babies though. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Oh gosh. I don't want to hit the fox. Okay. All right. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Fox, you have to come with me. Are you eating on the road? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost in Bodum, little guy. We're almost in Bodum. You're so cute. Pearl's gonna love you. Don't even worry. Come on, little foxy. This is Bodum. You'll love it here, I promise. I think, anyways. Think you'll love it. Pearl! Jim, hello! Oh, you look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Did you, wait, did you, were you coming up here anyway and you found it? Yeah, I found, I was on my way here and this fox appeared oh, and I knew that gosh. I just had to get it for you. Oh, thank you so much. It's adorable. Isn't it? it? But do you have a fence post I can oh. tie it up to? Hold on. Let's, why don't, why don't we could put it inside the house where it's nice and, okay. nice and cozy and snug and safe. Like, just like this llama who keeps poking its head through the door. <laughs> <laughs> And your creeper toes. You need some stables, Pearl. Moose has nowhere to go. 
I, I do need some stables. I have like a fenced up area in the front yard. <laughs> Your door oh, is a challenge. <laughs> Your door is a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oop. There we no, go. no, no. You uh -oh. come back here, you Ooh. little scallywag. Get in here. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, okay. Come forward. Right. Could be tied to, tied to this little, little one here, maybe. Well, Otherwise, the thing run, is, it's holding its own lead. That's oh, okay. I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I get it? Yeah, okay, got it. There we go. There oh. we go. Okay. A little cutie. It's so you know, cute. You can give them berries and they'll drop whatever it's holding. Wait, really? Yeah. I can cool. get a berry. Uh, boop. Because they prioritize berries over pretty much everything else. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Aww. Adorable. Thank you so much. Of so course, cute. of course. So cute. This is so random. So yeah, what, I know. What are you coming up here for, by the way? What's happening? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing some research, you see, on shops. Uh -huh. You have a shop, right? Yes, I do. Is it a successful shop? It, it's doing pretty well. It's got me half a stack of diamonds so far. I have a stack of... I've got to check it out. Yeah. I've got... Wait, where'd my moose go? <laughs> moose? Moose? Moose. Oh. Now is not the moose time. Moose is always running away. <laughs> you put them with the other horses if you want. So this is your shop? This is my shop, yes. It's a boat. It is a boat. It's a boat on land. It's it's called a shop wreck. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah? Yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> and the Padlamico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got right. one of those. Yeah, I, I've place. noticed yeah. this guy. <laughs> Taking him out of the Wherever water. Don't worry. He was getting a little wet. He was enjoying the water. They want to go for a swim every now and then. I see. I see. This, this does seem like a very successful shop. And this is very good. Two diamonds for mm -hmm. one stack. Oh. Wait a minute, what are you researching here? Huh? What are you Oh nothing, what are you nothing thinking just, of doing, Jim? You know, I'm not very successful at the minute, so I just wanna uh -huh. I just wanna make sure that my are shop like... <laughs> is up to the standards of everybody else. It's not, it's nothing okay. silly or you're, don't, you're not it's, intending that's fine. It's, on selling tinted glass at all no, 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 for no, a cheap no, price. I don't I don't no? wanna no, no. I would never uh, do that okay. to you, Pearl. Okay. Yep. Your words don't sound very convincing right now, but I'll believe I would you never until it happens. Believe, believe until it happens. That's what I should live by, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right. Unfortunately, you're not going to go very far from there. But it, you know what? It's just like that little ride that you get in the front of stores. You can pay, put like a, a dollar in and you, you start just like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, from you, I am going to buy eight name tags. <gasps> Oh, you're gonna buy name tags? Even though I gave you like some? Yeah. You must need a lot like of name tags. like a free tags. sample. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you have your small blossoms on you by chance? Uh, only 30. Only 30? I, I mean, I can buy those. I mean, I wasn't recording the first time around, but I mean, I, I could, I could buy, buy some small blossoms from you in exchange. Well, 32 spore blossoms is one diamond. Okay, and you have 30. I have 30. Unfortunately, we can't cut a diamond in half. Oh, well, I'll just give you a full diamond. Sorry, keep the change. <laughs> okay, all right, that works. I I could deliver I two more I... later. Could drop them off. Yeah, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit um, short on diamonds, but I I have what you need. I think. All right, <laughs> there's your spore blossoms, Pearl. Oh, thank you. I love them. Oh, beautiful. Pleasure doing oh, wait, business. Wait, ready, ready, ready. Uh, wait. Is there a, there's no there's no sensor in this place? Um, wait. You built um, even. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I built it even. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Oh, it looks okay, so good. It's beautiful. I love the particles from these guys. It's Thank perfect. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have to find my moose again. I found it. <sighs> I gave him a carrot. <laughs> moose is trying to return to nature. Come on, moose. Yeah, Bottom's not moose, that bad. Moose was trying to get home for you. <laughs> it's like, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm yes. on my way home. She's too slow. Like and, like and subscribe. I hate it. I don't, I hate it. No. Nope. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, thank you. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> right. Pleasure doing business, Pearl. I got to check out the rest of the shops around here. All right. Enjoy your research. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. This has so far been a great learning experience, but there's more shops in this area. First of all, we have the G train. The G train, as I know, has been very successful. Yes, yes, yes. Bone block. One diamond, three stacks of bone block? I want three stacks of bone block? For one, absolutely. Thank you, G-Train. Then we've also got harmless harvests. 
which is open for business. One diamond for eight. I actually need these because I really, really need to make some ender chests, which I don't have any of. So I'm gonna be buying one diamond for 16, some of this stuff. There we go. That'll allow me to make some ender chests around my base, which will be super helpful. I think as for the rest of this, oh wait, he sells ender chests. One diamond for one. Yeah, that's about the same as what I paid here. Okay, I'm gonna go with my raw materials and craft it myself. Thank you though, Mumbo. This is Scar's Bee Shop. It is so much fun. Look at this, it's so cute. And he is selling honey related items. Beehives, we got honey block, these are cool. I really like the look of these for potential mushroom decorations in my area, so I'm gonna buy a couple of them. There we go. Learning a lot about shops, but these bees are not letting me leave. Okay, you're, you're great shop attendants. You are super great. And where'd my moose go again? Right, I think I've done about all of the research that I can for now in Bodum, so let's head to the next shops. I don't intend to hit up every shop on the server right now, but there are a few that I haven't seen yet, so I'd like to shop around a little bit more. Ooh, you know what? I haven't tried out these yet. Ouch. Oh, they kind of hurt, but I think we're faster. Are we faster? Look at us. We're flying through the trails towards home. I love it. Using the materials I purchased off of Mumbo, I was able to create four ender chests. That's super helpful. I hadn't really been able to use these before because I didn't create any. But now I can plop one in here and one at my shop area and I'll still have a couple to go around. One of the more interesting shops, I think it's a shop anyways, is this Slime Block Casino. Free slime blocks, by the way. It is the best casino, I agree. Insert literally any item. Cool, okay, I'll insert a diamond. <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. XB has a really cool little shop down here. Look at this, Moss Inc. <laughs> it's so cute. What I really want though is Glow Inc. Look at this, two diamonds per stack of Glow Inc sacks. Yes, please. Wait, two diamonds per stack or three diamonds for two stacks? H hold on, hold on, hold on. Two stacks, three diamonds. I definitely want the discount price. Thanks, XB. This is really cool. I like it. Putting this to use right away in the new shop, of course. There we go. That makes sense, I think. So after all that time spent researching shops, I have decided that my shop area needs to be more of an experience. So I made a second market stall here, decorated the area a little bit more, plopped my ender chest in a really obvious spot, and I now sell my roots over here. I decreased the price a little bit. I'm selling my extra allium. Uh, sorry, Joe, I guess we're competitors now. And of course I have my pink shop set up over here. So this still sells drip leaf, small drip leaf, and spore blossoms. Overall, I think this turns this area into a much more pleasant place to come and hopefully will entice some hermits to come and shop at my markets. With that though, everyone, that is all the time that I have for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun and I want to show you some fan art that actually inspired today's episode. This piece of fan art with the drip loop over it, I was experiencing so much creative block and then I saw this and I thought, well, I just have to put a drip leaf umbrella over my shop. <laughs> and that's what I did. So thank you so much for the amazing art and the inspiration and everyone else who's also been creating art. I appreciate you so much. I had such bad creative block this week with this video. I think it came out fine either way. I like it, but I just, yeah, I, it was hard. And seeing your art and reading your comments and things really helps on days like that. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the support. Anyways, everyone, with all that said, I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.